It isn't often that the world's rookie pirates all show up here at the same time. Kidd, Luffy, Hawkins, Drake, Law. You must have heard these names in the news. Somewhere amongst this lot may be the one who will lead the next generation of pirates. If this many rookies pour in at once, the new world will be a sea of blood. Hello and welcome to One Piece 101, the series that breaks down everyone and everything in the One Piece world. Today we are going to be expanding our horizons beyond singular characters in order to take a look at one of the most influential groups in the series today, the Worst Generation. The Worst Generation is a term applied to 12 individual pirates who became particularly notorious in the transitionary period between the end of the Golden Age of Piracy and the commencement of the New Age. They are particularly feared and revered due to their incredibly bold actions taken against the world government as well as fellow pirates. The lineup of these individuals currently consists of Series protagonist Monkey D. Luffy, Captain of the Straw Hat Pirates and a man directly responsible for an incredible slew of incidents, including the destruction of any slobby, the first ever mass breakout of Impel Down, as well as the defeat of three Warlords of the Sea. Roa Noa Zoro, swordsman of the Straw Hat Pirates and famed ex-bounty hunter from East Blue, often mistaken for the captain of the Straw Hat Pirates due to his overwhelming power and demonic aura. Capone Gang Beige, captain of the Fire Tank Pirates and a former Mafia Don from West Blue, characterized for his penchant for directly targeting the bosses of rival families in order to bask in the ensuing chaos. Big Eater Jewelry Bonnie, originally from South Blue and captain of the Bonnie Pirates. A much more mysterious figure at the point of this recording, known primarily for possessing a more than likely devil fruit related ability to perform age manipulation, as well as a voracious appetite. Magician Basil Hawkins, an infamous figure from North Blue and captain of the Hawkins Pirates, very well known for engaging in extraordinarily accurate fortune telling and who possesses a devil fruit that frequently allows him to cheat death. Mad Monk Arouge, an individual from a currently unknown Sky Island and captain of the Fallen Monk Pirates, who possesses a particularly dangerous devil fruit, allowing him to convert damage taken into raw power. So it's no wonder why he always has a smile on his face when he's being beaten up. Massacre Soldier Killer, who hails from South Blue and is a member of the Kid Pirates, known for his fearsome agility and deadly skill in precision combat. Red Flag Diaz Drake, a former Marine Rear Admiral and now the current captain of the Drake Pirates, wielding a particularly awesome ancient Zoan type devil fruit that allows him to transform into a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Roar of the Sea Scratch Man Apu, a member of the Long Arm Tribe in the Grand Line and captain of the on-air pirates, known for facing off against his opponents with the wonderful power of music, which is conjured from his bodily instruments. The Surgeon of Death, Trafalgar Law, a man who hails from North Blue and captain of the Heart Pirates, responsible for perpetrating the Rocky Port incident, as well as orchestrating the downfall of Warlord of the Sea, Don Quixote do Flamingo. He is also a man who can quite literally steal your heart. Eustace Captain Kidd, a notoriously brutal pirate from South Blue, well known to be particularly fearless and violent, often resulting in large amounts of civilian casualties. He is the captain of the rather creatively named Kidd Pirates and possesses a devil fruit that allows him to manipulate magnetic forces. And finally, Marshal D. Teach, captain of the Blackbeard Pirates and one of the current four emperors of the New World, who gained notoriety for his actions during the Paramount War, delivering the final blow to Whitebeard and becoming the first known person in the series to acquire two devil fruits abilities. Now as for how this group came to be known as the Worst Generation, it began with a convenient convergence of 11 of the aforementioned individuals on the Sabadi Archipelago just prior to the commencement of the Paramount War. And just to clarify, this group consisted of all of the aforementioned characters with the exception of Blackbeard. However, the remaining 11 figures each had bounties over 100 million berries, and the fact that they were all gathered within such close proximity caused quite a stir on Sabadi, and they were dubbed as the 11 Supernovas. Of course, gathering a group of people like this came with its fair share of clashes, and several of the supernovas were involved in short skirmishes. This would culminate when Monkey D. Luffy punched a celestial dragon at the human auction house, prompting a marine admiral to be sent to Sabadi. As rookie pirates, the supernovas stood no chance whatsoever against an admiral, although Hawkins, Drake, Apu, and Arouge did try regardless, and were rather convincingly defeated. Elsewhere, a brief alliance formed between Luffy, Trafalgar Law, and Eustace Kidd in order to make their escape from the auction house. It's also worth noting that these three in particular held the highest bounties amongst the supernovas at the time. By various means, each supernova was able to escape Sabadi, however they would eventually return to the archipelago once things had died down in order to watch the broadcast of the Paramount War. After the broadcast was cut, they set sail to just outside Marineford in order to view the conclusion. Very notably, one supernova was actually participating in the Paramount War, being Luffy, whilst fellow Straw Hat and supernova Zoro had been sent to Kuregana Island by the powers of Bartholomew Kuma. Furthermore, the figure of Blackbeard also became part of the war in its 
its closing stages. The only other supernova who became even remotely involved was Trafalgar Law, who risked his life in order to save Luffy from Marineford. Following these events, each of the supernovas made their way into the new world, save for Luffy and Zoro, who spent the next two years training. And it would be during these two years that the title of supernova would be dropped and instead exchanged for the worst generation. Part of this amendment was made in order to include Blackbeard, who on paper does not look like he belongs with the rest of these rookie pirates, being almost twice as old as most of them and capable of far more influential feats such as becoming an emperor of the new world. But the reason for his inclusion is because up until around the Paramount War, Blackbeard had kept himself hidden from the public eye and was a lurking threat in the background, patiently waiting for his plans to come to fruition. So to the eyes of the world, Blackbeard emerged at essentially the same time as Luffy and his contemporaries, so it makes a lot of sense to consider him as part of the worst generation. However, during and following the two year time skip, each of the worst generation have slowly been gaining more notoriety and making waves in the new world to the point where most major events in the series now tend to heavily involve multiple members. The members of the worst generation have also begun to see the value in cooperation and various alliances have been formed in order to further their own individual goals. For example, Luffy and Law formed an alliance in order to take down Don Quixote Doflamingo, while Hawkins, Apu, Kid, and by association Killer also attempted to form an alliance of their own. Other members have looked outside of the worst generation and have pledged their allegiance to various factions amongst the four emperors, like Capone Gang Beige, who for some time was a member of the Big Mom Pirates, and Diaz Drake, who became a subordinate of Kaido. Meanwhile, there are also members like Urouge and Jewelry Bonnie who have thus far remained as independent factions. But no matter what, each and every one of these fearsome pirates managed to cause nothing less than a spectacular level of chaos wherever they go, gradually becoming stronger and working their way up the ranks of piracy in order to achieve their respective goals. Some more fun facts about the worst generation. Each member of the worst generation's name is actually based on a real life figure, save for Luffy and Killer. I'm not going to go through all of them, but some of the ones I found most interesting are Arouge, whose name is based on a 16th century Ottoman pirate named, oh uh, look, I'm not even going to try and pronounce it. Meanwhile, Basil Hawkins' name actually comes from two different figures, one a privateer named Basil Ringrose, and the other a naval admiral and slave trader by the name of John Hawkins. Of the worst generation members, 10 are captains of their own crews, and moreover,